Hello and welcome to Protomet Tries. I almost forgot what this show was called for a second there. Uh, <laughs> and today, uh, I don't have any chips or any soda, but I do have Rice Krispies treats. <laughs> today I'm going to be trying Rice Krispies treats birthday cake and cookies and cream. <laughs> so, uh, let's get to it. I, I'm going to start with the birthday cake. Now, I may not be too big a fan of marshmallows on their own, but when mixed with Rice Krispies, they are delicious. Why is this? I assume that these were made for like birthday or birthdays or well, given the heart Valentine's Day, which is okay. Ugh. bottom. Let's see how these hold up to regular Rice Krispie Treats, which are absolutely delicious, and uh, if you gave me a package of uh, those, I would be completely unable to stop myself from eating the entire thing. That's, that's not even a lie. Kind of sad, but delicious at the same time. Let's, let's do this. <laughs> It's nice and chewy, like you would expect a Rice Krispies treat to taste. And it does have the taste of birthday cake, complete with the sprinkles. But I'd probably go with the, the regular Rice Krispies treat, to be honest. Is it just me, or does the birthday cake flavor that people try to get across come across as a a bit a bit much? Like I know birthday cakes are supposed to be like sugary and all that, but <coughs> it's got like an in, a bit of an intense sugariness to it. Like it's trying to be overly sweet or something. If that makes any sense. These aren't bad, but like I said, I'd have the regular Rice Krispies treats first and foremost. Next up, we have cookies and cream. Gonna try getting this one open on camera. They put like a, a huge glue strip right across it so you can't just. You end up tearing it a lot more. However, once you get that first slap up, they actually have some perforated uh, portions that you can just. <clears throat> and that just pulls up super easy. Again, I'm pretty confident these were uh, released around like Valentine's Day or something to try and promote that because um, because these uh, white heart spaces are the the packaging even calls them out as being writable <laughs> writable wrappers is what they're called writable wrappers if you can see that right there. Let's give this a try. Forgot to smell the birthday cake one. Oh, this one, no. This one's definitely got the chocolatey scent to it. It's of course got the white bottom, but the cookie-covered 
top, which actually looks a lot less like cookie and just more like somebody took cookie dough and extruded it through like a, extruded it like through a uh, pipette and just like kept cutting it. Like, um, uh, what's that really tiny type of pasta? I, I've, ne I've never had it myself, so I don't know offhand. It's like really, really tiny. <laughs> really, really tiny. It doesn't even have a whole lot. It's just practically balls. <laughs> this is what this is. That's what, that's what these remind me of. Let's uh, give it a taste, though. That's better. That's quite a bit better than the birthday cake. At first, you really just get the chewiness of the uh, Rice Krispies treat. But then you start to actually bite down on the chocolate pieces, and that adds a bit of a nice light crunch to it. Very nice, very nice. And there is a bit of a chocolatey taste to it, but it's not so much that it overpowers the taste of the Rice Krispies treat. <laughs> and the cream flavor, that one, that one's pretty good too. This is good. This, these get my approval much more than the uh, birthday cake does. But to be fair, the birthday cake one tries to taste like birthday cake, which I just feel. They try way too hard to get it to taste like that, and it tastes too much like cake. <laughs> and that's just with birthday cake stuff in general, so. That's not just a complaint towards the Rice Krispies. That's a complaint towards a birthday cake flavored just about anything. Mm -hmm. the cookies and cream, Rice Krispies treats, well worth it. Definitely would pick up another box of these. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Yeah, I keep saying I would definitely pick up another box or bag or such, but I usually don't. But that's simply because I keep finding new stuff to make videos on for you guys, so. If I did uh, legitimately keep picking up boxes of stuff that I really enjoyed, I would be eating too much between that and uh, making videos for you guys. So I'm a little bit of a liar, but... But that's not always the case, because there are some instances where I actually do pick up another bag of something. <laughs> so, so I, I definitely am telling the truth when I say that I would pick, it, pick up another. It's good. Very good. If I had better editing skills and software, I'd probably have something funny going on there when I was doing that, but I don't. I don't know. Mm. <laughs> well, until next time, this has been me, Protomet. See ya.